good morning guys and happy new year once again so this is gonna be officially my first video for year 2022 and i'm just gonna introduce myself again so my name is Wemimo and i'm also known as that mom of five and i'm also known as tmo5 candle co and i am a third year nursing student so if you're new to my channel welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back and i hope you ushered in the new year in a very special and spectacular way so this morning it's the 3rd of january 2022 and i'm starting my second placement for third year and it's currently quarter past five in the morning and um, yeah, I'm starting my placement this morning and where I've been placed is quite far from home, like quite far and I won't be using the car because obviously the kids are at home, their dad will have to shove at them if they were to go out and stuff. So it's going to be a real struggle for me, but I was able to put in my group chat that if there's anyone living close by me who is being placed at the same hospital and will drive if we happen to be working the same day if they don't mind like car sharing with me and luckily i was able to find two girls and so i'm gonna go with one of the girls today because we are actually working the same day in the same hospital but different world so that's a blessing which in a way comes to the comes down to the fact that i need another car yeah i need another car because i'm gonna finish my studies in six months time and when i start work i can't depend on the one car we have at home because the kids will have to go to school their dad will have to go to his place of work and stuff like that and so we can and at this age and with my level of um should i say with my level of knowledge i shouldn't be jumping on the bus and stuff like that and with what is going on in the world right now so you really want to have your own car because <laughs> honestly i can't argue the comfort of having your own car because you can get to where you're going on time you are avoiding bus getting late or arriving late or not even showing up at all you are avoiding all of that and it's a good thing if you know how to drive you know you, you can just take your car and get yourself to work without having to wait for anybody so yeah your girl is needing a new car it does not necessarily have to be a brand new car but a car that will take me from a to z you know and that won't cause me issues so that's one expenditure i'm looking to consider this year and i really need to consider it and get it done as soon as possible so god help me and provide for my pocket so right now i'm just trying to get my lunch bag sorted and i'm just looking to boil some egg right now so i've got water so I'm going to add some eggs into this. So while that is boiling, I'm just going to go grab a shower and pack my backpack because um, my, the wee girl is picking me up at 20 past 6. You know what? This is actually quite good. I'm going to share a story of my first placement and how I really struggled. I'm going to share that in a separate video, maybe like in a sit down video. So. I'm just gonna finish packing my backpack my lunch bag just now so in here i'm just gonna add some cereal into the and i've got um pork noodle which i probably won't eat but obviously i want to avoid having to buy food i've got some grapes in there some wafer a can of dry coke and um, my sweetener which i use so uh, that's what i've got in my lunch bag just now and i'm also adding my own tea and tea cup as well and i've got my cutleries in there so while the egg is boiling i'm just going to quickly go grab a shower all right guys so i've just finished from placement i'm currently on the high street at paisley so first day of my shift went really well the stars were absolutely wonderful like i was dreading first day just like every other still would be so that's me just um heading to the train station now so my the next train to glasgow central is at um nine past seven i've just missed the one i was meant to get on so yeah i thought i would talk base with you guys do i look tired no even though i was a pack of nervousness 
overnight like i didn't really get enough sleep because i was like oh first day i think i always feel that way like the day before i'm due to start at a new placement i'm always nervous but so far with today i had no reason to be nervous at all so today went absolutely great great world great staff and i'm looking forward to the next five and a half weeks there all right good morning guys it's um day two of my placement so week one day two for my placement and i did not sleep well at all i did not it's currently um 504 i don't know if you can say it. i did not sleep well at all i don't know why so i think i got home around half eight eight forty five last night so by the time i had dinner did my light prayer i was in my bed for around 9 45 so I was totally knocked out around around 10 o'clock and then I woke up around 2 a.m. It's 2 a.m. Yeah, quarter past 2 and I just couldn't go back to sleep. Suddenly I had a blocked nose like this side of my nose was blocked. I was sniffing, snuffing. So I couldn't sleep. I just kept tossing here and there. I guess that was pretty much all I did till that alarm went off so it's gonna be a long tiring day for me and i've only go i have to be ready for in 15 minutes because i'm getting picked up by six o'clock yeah so one of my other um schoolmates she's as, also at the same hospital as i'm working right now so she's gonna be picking me up at six o'clock so thank god for that i'm still on the hunt for a car because i'm actually desperate now like i'm desperate but i'm thankful that um at least with my first week i'm able to get someone to kind of like share their car with me to take me down there so yeah i'm in today and i think i'm off tomorrow well after today i'm not back till saturday but in between like i got that email from uni like <laughs> I just do like I'm dreading receiving an email update from uni as it is right now like can they just leave us to do this placement because within this placement there's an essay within this placement so um, I think I already identified the patient I'm gonna be using as a case study and so my days off I'm gonna start working on that so yeah I'm definitely definitely dreading emails from placement currently so that's the plan and um my website is gonna go back up tomorrow which is the fifth so my website my candle website is gonna go back and my etsy shop is gonna go back as well i think i get more sales on my website than my etsy but i think i'm still gonna keep my etsy shop because normally if i get order from there i can always refer my customers from etsy to my website you know when i send their orders back to them so that's the more reason why i'm still going to be keeping etsy so um yeah and i made up some candles in new scents i've actually tested those scents like five cents i've tested them so i'm going to be bringing some of those scents ready for valentine i'm going to launch <coughs> i'm going to launch them um closer to valentine so i'm it's still in the plan anyway how i want to work with that and then i'm going to release another maybe a couple of fragrances come mother's day so that's the plan i've got for my candle business there and again i'm thinking maybe i should start a youtube channel for my candle business because on this web i mean on this channel i talk about lifestyle nursing and stuff like that and i just feel as if my candle business does not tally or does not relate with what i share on this channel but in the meantime i think i'm just gonna be doing everything on this channel because like i said i'm a told yesterday and things are getting really, really hard now like really, really difficult i'm um, suggesting like a website or something where i could get like a not at least an affordable um used car um because right now i don't want to go down the lane of going by um a higher purchase or something like that i think i'm going to share um some video ideas or a video at some point about my experiences in terms of finances when buying stuff like that yeah i think while i was sleeping all these ideas of videos came into my head so i thought yeah i would love to share that with you guys so i've, I've scribbled it down in a notebook beside my bed so those are videos that are going to be coming soon so yeah and yesterday i was going to show you guys <laughs> like film me getting ready when i got to my work yesterday but the changing room 
the changing room can't even contain two people that was how small it was so like no there's no point i thought i would just talk this with you guys this morning and hopefully catch up with you later okay you can tell i'm tired yeah i am tired <laughs> right good morning guys so it's wednesday and so i'm off today yesterday was super super busy and i was really tired and there was an there was a change to my placement yesterday not that i'm being moved but the purpose of that word is being changed so now i'm a bit skeptical like you know what i just need to ensure that i am safe because i can't afford to fall ill within this placement because after this placement i've got another three weeks to go and that will be done with uni so i don't want anything holding me back you know stuff like that so i have to be very very careful you know so it's still gonna be like care of the elderly and stuff like that so yesterday um my mentor who happens to be the child nurse lives like five minutes away from me so she won't, she was the one who dropped me home last night which made me getting home quicker like in i think it was under 10 minutes or under 15 minutes we were home like she knows all those <laughs> quick exits out of paisley so yeah so we may like go back home i think i finished we left the world around um 10 past seven and i think i got home around maybe half seven or something or just before eight o'clock and by the time i got home i managed a tiny bit of dinner and then i jumped into my bed and that was me i was super knackered like i woke up at five o'clock in the morning and before i started yesterday i woke up around two o'clock because i couldn't sleep as i mentioned earlier on so yeah so this morning now it's wednesday i'm off so i've decided to kind of like start getting my head around some of the uni stuff like they've been bombarded like the email that is coming from uni is crazy so yeah i've got an essay to um to amend and then resubmit and then there's a new essay that is um that is called that is associated with this placement so i need to double check when that essay is due so i can get started on it and there's lots of like stuff for the kids that i need to do there's loads of applications i need to make like they've rolled out the new um travel bus pass for children between the ages of 25 between the age of 5 and 22 so children between the age of 5 and 22 can apply to get a free travel pass and they travel free on any sort of transport within the uh, within scotland and it's due to close on the 20th so i need to apply for the last three because they are below the age of 22 so yeah i need to get that done and then my candle website is opening back up again so i'm just on my laptop right now there i'm just on it now to make sure that i can like activate that back up again so people can start shopping and then i'll probably go um i'm i don't know well it depends on how soon i finish with all the stuff i've got laid down i need to go into town to return exchange a couple of things like i bought a socks for my son yeah. i picked up his wrong size so i'm gonna have to um adjust that yeah sorry i had to answer that call there my fridge freezer has been giving me some sort of error code i just want them to change that fridge freezer it's like almost eight years old do i pay like monthly um insurance cover or something on it is it, there was a time it had it broke down like i think the gas it was not getting cold at all so it took almost three weeks to get it fixed because they have to order it directly from the manufacturer and it's a beko one and i'm so tired of that fridge now and i just want them to change it so now it's giving me an error code like exclamation mark and it's showing zero zero something so it gives me that error code on and on for like almost an hour and then it goes back to normal again and i've tried everything in that i know of doing it to kind of like amend the temperature but it's just causing me grief so the engineer just called me and said he's going to get here in 20 minutes i'm going to try and sweet talk him if there's a way he could just do it so they could just <laughs> change it for me right guys so the engineer who came to check on the fridge did say so he went through it and he said um the fault with the fridge cannot be repaired so it's going to write a report and let my insurer know that they have to replace the fridge so i'm happy and if i tell you that since i when it was brand new i was paying um i think three pounds something every month for it so over the years so that fridge is approximately nine years old over the years the insurance i pay yearly is increasing whereby it's about 16 pounds or something a month 
but in a good thing i think it's worth it because at the end of the day see if that broke down now and i want to go and buy some i'll be spending roughly maybe about like a thousand pounds to get that same fridge again and i don't have a thousand pounds to go buy a fridge so yeah i'm quite happy with that obviously uni work i meant to book an appointment for my moving and handling training that will be my moving and handling training for final year and there's a lot of learning activity i need to do before <laughs> i'm allowed to book it so i'm actually going to spend an entire day doing that and then tomorrow i'm going to start um working through that essay that i'm going to be resubmitting so yeah that's the plan i'm getting there i'm getting there good morning guys it's been a very long time since i've taken this camera so right now i'm heading out to placement this is week two this is my day two of week two your girl is tired like tired so today i'm going to attempt to drive myself um to my placement I struggle to drive when it's already dark and it's currently six minutes before six and it's still that it looks like three midnight so last week um a few people were dropping me off because they work there so but they were off and we kind of like we are working different um at different times so i've decided to attempt to drive myself there again if you remember it was the same hospital i went to pick up this extra shift like the bank shift that i do so that's where i'm heading this morning in fact i'm already running late i'm meant to leave home at six o'clock so i'm gonna find my way downstairs now and head there talk this with you guys and say i'm still here i've not posted a video on my channel since i think since the first of january that's how busy i am like third years i don't even think i've got enough time for myself so let me go now and stop rambling right guys so i've arrived in all it took me half an hour to get here so i was thinking if i had taken the express um that would probably take me about 20 minutes but i think i prefer this route that i took obviously it's quite dark and it's as if I, like i was like i was driving like a blind bat because i i felt as if there was not enough lighting on the roads that was how i felt coming and i think in general driving at night that's how i feel i don't feel comfortable or confident driving when it's dark but following the route that i took um it's it's kind of like straightforward so it took me half an hour good morning guys so it's friday and week two of my second third year placement so i've done my three days this week and so today is friday and it's my day off and it's a day off that is filled with lots of things that I'm meant to be doing. So I just thought I will come in and end the entire vlog of that two weeks. I Trust me guys, it's not going to be half an hour long. It's not at all. Because I've actually not done lots of recording. Because you know, with the placement and everything has been really busy for me. So just a wee update. You know, remember I was saying that um, my fridge, my fridge freezer... It's developed a couple of faults and when the engineer came, the engineer was like, no, it's not going to be fixed. It's still going to be working, but obviously because I've got insurance on it, that it's going to write to the insurance company to replace it. So they did agree to replace it, but the one I chose was a plumbed one, which means that it has to be plumbed to a running water, um, water system in the kitchen. And the kind of setup I have in this kitchen, it's not going to work. So obviously they have to cancel that order. So now I've picked another one which is a non-pumped so that means i won't need to plug a water system into it so yeah i'm gonna have to call them today to confirm the um, entry size i'm sure it's gonna fit in here because if i'm able to fit this um bico one into my kitchen the lg one will fit so i need to call them with the measurement of the door so they could um, arrange my delivery that's that and then i'm meeting someone for business um business i'm having a business meeting today um so that's what i'm doing today this friday and also i've got a couple of video ideas that i want to um i want to frame so i'm hoping i'm going to be able to do that so once i finish from this business meeting i'm going to rush back home slap on a bit of makeup and try and film that video a couple of those videos today and maybe some tomorrow 
because i want to try and film those videos this weekend so that next week i will have videos to upload as you all know i want to try and keep up with uploading every thursday but <laughs> since january i've actually not been doing that i apologize for that it's been a very very hectic um um week for me and lastly you know guys i said i was um looking for to buy a small car the one i really wanted is um i can actually afford it but obviously be due to some mistakes i've made in the past it's probably a bit difficult for me to get but there's gonna be a video about that and so yeah i actually saw one that i'm, I'm looking at and if i like it i'm going there today as well. so if i like it i'm gonna pay for it and pick it up which means that i won't be needing um anybody else to drop me off for my placement so that means we're gonna end up with two cars so my husband will drive the seven seater and help with the school run while i'm at work or at placement and then i'm gonna have a small one for myself so that if i needed to go to work at any time i won't be thinking of how will the kids um go to school because at the end of the day if i take the main family car to work in the morning and I don't come back to 7 p.m. at night or 8 o'clock at night. So which means that if my kids get onto the public transport, weekly will be costing me 70 pounds for that um, bus ticket. So it's just ideal that we have two cars. So yeah, that's that. And I'm going to look at that car today. And if I like it, I'll pay for it. And that'll be that. And then just get all of those things sorted. So yeah, I thought I would come in this morning and end this two week long vlog. It does not be a law. And hopefully things will go things will start go back to normal from next week. So I'll start uploading every week again. So pardon me if you've not been seeing a lot. And I was checking out the YouTube, my YouTube channel growth. We've had an extra hundred subscribers. So yay! Welcome to my new hundred subscribers. I apologize that you've not seen new um clips from me, but that will change. So yeah, I thought I should um come in and give it that update. So hopefully I'll catch up with you next. So if you're just Join my channel and if not yet subscribed what are you waiting for like this video drop a comment in the comment section click on that subscription button and also turn on the post notification so you do not miss any video from me and in case you don't know i sell scented candles and diffusers as well so i will leave my website here go shop and you can never tell what free gift you get in your delivery so i hope to see you in my next video see you later bye